Global IP Trust, Presence Albert Einstein By 1908, Einstein was recognized as a leading scientist and was appointed lecturer at the University of Bern. He was later appointed associate professor in 1909. Einstein became a full professor at the German Charles Ferdinand University in Prague in April 1911, accepting Austrian citizenship in the Austro-Hungarian Empire to do so. During his Prague stay, he wrote 11 scientific works, five of them on radiation mathematics and on the quantum theory of solids. In July 1912, he returned to his alma mater in Zurich. From 1912 until 1914, he was a professor of theoretical physics at the ETH Zurich, where he taught analytical mechanics and thermodynamics. He also studied continuum mechanics, the molecular theory of heat, and the problem of gravitation, on which he worked with mathematician and friend, Marcel Grossman. On 3rd of July 1913, he became a member of the Prussian Academy of Sciences, in Berlin. Max Planck and Walter Nernst visited him the next week in Zurich, to persuade him to join the Academy, additionally offering him the post of director, at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics, which was soon to be established. He was officially elected to the Academy on 24th of July, and he moved to Berlin the following year. The Kaiser Wilhelm Institute was established on October 1, 1917, with Einstein as its director. In 1916, Einstein was elected president of the German Physical Society, a post he held on to till 1918. Based on calculations Einstein had made in 1911, using his new theory of general relativity, light from another star should be bent by the sun's gravity. In 1919, that prediction was confirmed by Sir Arthur Eddington, during the solar eclipse of May 29, 1919. Those observations were published in the international media, making Einstein world famous. On November 7, 1919, the leading British newspaper, The Times, printed a banner headline that read, Revolution in Science, New Theory of the Universe, Newtonian Ideas Overthrown. In 1920, he became a foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. In 1922, he was awarded the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics for his services to theoretical physics and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect. The general theory of relativity was still considered somewhat controversial and did not receive universal acceptance until the 1924 derivation of the Planck spectrum by S. N. Bose. Einstein was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1921. He also received the Copley Medal from the Royal Society in 1925. Einstein visited New York City for the first time on 2nd of April 1921, where he received an official welcome by Mayor John Francis Hyland, followed by three weeks of lectures and receptions. He went on to deliver several lectures at Columbia University and Princeton University, and in Washington, he accompanied representatives of the National Academy of Science on a visit to the White House. In 1922, his travels took him to Asia, and later to Palestine, as part of a six-month excursion and speaking tour, as he visited Singapore, Ceylon, and Japan, where he gave a series of lectures, to thousands of Japanese. Later, he went on to travel to various places spanning the globe, including Palestine, China, India, and Spain. From 1922 to 1932, Einstein was a member of the International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation of the League of Nations in Geneva. In December 1930, Einstein visited America for the second time, originally intended as a two-month working visit as a research fellow at the California Institute of Technology. Einstein then traveled to California, where he met Caltech president and Nobel laureate Robert A. Millikan. During an address to Caltech students, Einstein noted that science was often inclined to do more harm, than good. This aversion to war also led Einstein to befriend author Upton Sinclair, and film star Charlie Chaplin, both noted for their pacifism. 
In February 1933, while on a visit to the United States, Einstein knew he could not return to Germany, with the rise to power of the Nazis, under Germany's new chancellor, Adolf Hitler. In February and March 1933, the Gestapo repeatedly raided his family's apartment in Berlin. The Nazis later sold his boat, and converted his cottage into a Hitler youth camp. In April 1933, Einstein discovered that the new German government had passed laws, barring Jews from holding any official positions, including teaching at universities. A month later, Einstein's works were among those targeted by the German Student Union, in the Nazi book Burnings, with Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels proclaiming, Jewish intellectualism is dead. Einstein was now without a permanent home, unsure where he would live and work, and equally worried about the fate of countless other scientists still in Germany. In late July 1933, he went to England for about six weeks, at the personal invitation of British Naval Officer Commander, Oliver Locker Lampson, who had become friends with Einstein, in the preceding years. Einstein later contacted leaders of other nations, including Turkey's Prime Minister, Ismet Inanyu, to whom he wrote in September 1933, requesting placement of unemployed German Jewish scientists. As a result of Einstein's letter, Jewish invitees to Turkey, eventually totaled over 1,000 saved individuals. In October 1933, Einstein returned to the US, and took up a position at the Institute for Advanced Study. Einstein's affiliation with the Institute for Advanced Study, would last until his death, in 1955. During this period, Einstein tried to develop a unified field theory, and to refute the accepted interpretation of quantum physics, both unsuccessfully. In 1955, Einstein and ten other intellectuals and scientists, including British philosopher Bertrand Russell, signed a manifesto, highlighting the danger of nuclear weapons. Finally, Einstein became an American citizen, in 1940. Einstein joined the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, in Princeton, where he campaigned for the civil rights of African Americans. In 1946, Einstein visited Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, a historically black college, where he was awarded an honorary degree. Einstein gave a speech about racism in America, adding, I do not intend to be quiet about it. A resident of Princeton recalls, that Einstein had once paid the college tuition, for a black student. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, do share and subscribe, and stay tuned for part 3, for more of Einstein's personal life.